All right, so the, the judgment has finally come through uh, in the Supreme Court case about the by force proceed or leave. I remember all of us talking about this when it happened. All of us talking about it. And you know, this is the thing that I always, I always bring up, that here in this country, we pretend as if the law is the only consideration in all things. That legality of it is the only consideration. So as long as the president legally can do something, he will do it. Well, I mean, thankfully, it's now been proved that he didn't even legally have the right to do it. But at the time, he thought he did. And all of us, or well, those of us who supported the president in his action, felt like, oh, as long as it's legal, it's fine. So we sometimes put aside morality, which is also a responsibility of leaders. You have a moral responsibility. So when you are removing a person who is performing based on a, a, a technicality, I mean, aren't you even shy? Aren't you even ashamed that everybody will see what you are doing? Who's but you hid person? behind your belief that you had the legal right to do so. Now the Supreme Court has proved that you didn't. You were wrong to remove the man. At the time when he was saving the nation, you removed him. And you were wrong to do so. You violated the Constitution to do so. So, obviously, you made our nation weaker. This is exactly the reason why certain laws are put in place. Now, I don't want to be political because me, I don't, I don't care who benefits or who loses. I just want our nation to come out on top. We chose someone as president. He swore an oath. He said he will protect the Constitution. If you violate the Constitution, there must be consequences. That's my view. And the consequence that we know, stated in the law, is that if a president violates the Constitution, he is eligible to be impeached. I want to see Parliament taking this up. It's the process. Even if, even if in the end, because they have the majority in Parliament, he is not impeached, the fact that the process must go through is important so that we know that we live in a nation of laws. You said you had a legal right to remove the man. You removed him. You did not have the legal right. You violated the Constitution in removing him. You made the nation weaker. Someone must pay. We should, we should stop making presidents untouchable. Let's touch them so that next time when they are making decisions, they'll think. The area of constitutionalism is generally called limited government. So we clip the powers or you are supposed to act within certain uh, uh, limits so that you don't abuse your power. That was, to me, and to me was a bigger argument than even whether the guy was uh, required to stay or what that we have established an independent institution of state. Be mindful of how you seek to interfere with the work of that institution. But we were, for example, told that in this country, people don't like going on leave because they are sitting on things. Yeah, surprisingly, that, oh, they are sitting on things. And Kojo, when the man went on leave, do you know what we did? We commissioned an external body to review all his procurement practices. Yes. <laughs> He was invited oh. to Yoko. In fact, if there is an individual who's been subjected to review, I'm sure he has been subjected to review more than the president. Imagine. Yet nothing happened to him. We concluded that, well, he has not done anything wrong in office and that he should proceed with it. Dom Level was everybody's darling until the Crown Associates issue happened, oh. which had everything to do with powerful people in government. He used to say that, oh, if I corruption, corruption will fight you back. The people are saying that, you, you be sailing, smooth sailing. Do such as, do all of the other things. The day you touch powerful people in government, they'll show you where power lies. And that's yeah. how we got rid of the guy. And let's not pretend. There was a time that his nationality, whether he was Togolese <laughs> or Ghanaian, ah. also, in fact, yes, 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 yes. And, oh, yeah, age matters became an issue too along the line. But... Me, I would have preferred overaged to go lease Auditor General who could surcharge and retrieve resources for this country. At some point, we were, we were listing that as a success of this government that some four billion or so had been saved. And yet, when it came to, when push came to show when everything had to do with the politics of the day, he had to go. But let's think about how we have within that space not advanced the development of our country. Let's think about how his successor 
Now we don't know whether he no longer believes in surcharging and disallowance, but he has his own terrain that he's running. But let's think about how that's become a problem. And ask ourselves that big question. Was it worth it, all the energy we put into removing this particular man? Well, it definitely wasn't worth it. Um, I mean, I think that as a people, we may have realized now that uh, we took the wrong decisions. And that's oh, I mean, actually the thing with us. When someone is We working, didn't take the decision. When, when I say, when, when I say <laughs> as a people, I'm talking about the government. So, I mean, you, you can appreciate it that way. Now, the fact that as Ghanaians, one of the major challenges of our I mean, uh, political elite is that they want everybody succumbing to their whims and caprices. Mm -hmm. They want everybody singing their praise every day. And so once you're doing things that makes the former government unpopular, Domelevo is the man. This is the man that, you know, uh, disallowed and surcharged lots of expenditure under the previous administration because they didn't meet their requirements. Then now he takes the government's uh, current administration on and it becomes an issue. Why? Because certain persons just don't want to be touched. This whole issue, I mean, as for the issue of his nationality, that was settled long ago. But the pension for always trying to link people to another country in itself is problematic. And his age and everything. Look, today we have, we have uh, you know, the Supreme Court has shown that that decision was a very bad decision. That decision. And, and the government should be apologizing to the man and the people of Ghana. For having taken that decision. Have you seen some people even saying that, oh, yes, eh, the NDC did it, and the Mills, they did it too. I am, not, I, am, I am not interested I mean, in, I'm not interested in the level to which we can. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm not interested in dwelling in the past. Part of our problem as a people is that when something happens, instead of confronting it, we want to yeah. go into history to use that to justify yeah, it, and by so doing, continuing to become the backward society that we've become.